guys, I'm here today to do another one of my testing videos. I'm gonna leave a link to the playlist down below and in the little eye up here, or up here, can't remember, of all the videos in this series that I've done so far. But this one is a testing Poundland makeup video. Now I've actually been putting off filming this one because I've got really good skin at the minute and it does get agitated by some things in products and I feel like Poundland, this is really judgmental of me, but I feel like Poundland, if any brand, would be the one to break me out. Which isn't actually true because a lot of high-end makeup does make my skin very strange. I've actually been in two Poundland stores to try and find products for this video and it just seems so hard, like all the shelves were so bare. So I've got a few products but I don't have like a definite full face. So this makeup look might be a bit boring but I'm definitely gonna test out what I have got. Starting out with the gorgeous Flawless long lasting foundation Ooh, this is for sure gonna be the wrong shade oh my god first thing i've noticed it's taken me that much of a squeeze to get anything out of it oh it looks like acrylic paint oh my god guys it just squirted out with like loads of oil oh no it's still oily even after i've shaken it oh my god this literally looks disgusting can you see how grim this looks gonna test it out anyway. It smells like literal paint. If any of you guys use any Poundland products, let me know what you use because I have a feeling that, I mean it can't all be bad, do you know what I mean? So some stuff might actually be okay, so let me know. That has given me hardly any coverage at all. Like literally barely any. There were no concealers at the Poundlands that I went to so I'm just going to conceal with a Rimmel one. Can't get over how little coverage this foundation has given me. I put so much on. I put literally two massive squirts on. I'm going to just have to put some more foundation on. Oh this is such a gross texture. It's like moussey. Okay, so that's given me zero more coverage. So that's interesting. I got a powder, so let's try that out. This is the Smoothly Does It Pressed Powder. This foundation feels wet on my face. It feels like I've just squirted myself with a water gun. But I've actually got this brush from Poundland as well, which is already shedding and I haven't even used it yet. So let's try this. Okay, this powder smells like old ladies, but it's actually working okay. What the hell? What is going on with this makeup? Look at my skin. Why have I got this line? It's like it's just slid off my face. Look at it. What? <laughs> I'm gonna move on to bronzer and I've got this brush as well from Poundland. And this is the Good To Glow Matte Bronzer. If this was high-end makeup, I'd be saying the exact same thing. Why do seagulls sit on my roof? I live in London. Yeah, if this was high-end makeup, I would literally be saying the exact same thing. My face feels disgusting right now. What is that? <laughs> oh my God. Look, I just tried to blend it in and it's taken it off. Oh my God. What? I'm just gonna carry on with bronzer because I want this to be over ASAP. So let's go in with this orange bad boy. Yep, this is awful too. Oh my God. I literally just wanna take this all off my face right now. I'm not even being dramatic. This is horrendous and it feels horrendous as well. Let's move on to eyes. I've got a pro liquid liner, but the only shade I could find it in was brown. So this is gonna be, I mean, this might be good. Brown liner isn't actually that bad, I don't mind it. Let's see what the formula's like though. I don't touch my face, it's just peeling off. Why would you make a brush that splits in half when it's an eyeliner brush? Are you kidding me? Literally, the brush just splits in half so you end up with two. <laughs> 
I feel like just stopping this video honestly and taking it off and just doing a different video but I want to show you guys how shit this makeup is. <laughs> actually that bad it's the brush that is just horrendous can you see how like badly this has gone on I mean I would say that I'm actually okay at makeup I'm not a makeup artist or anything but my makeup skills for someone who just sits at home and does makeup and has never learned any other way to do it I would say I'm pretty good at makeup and even I couldn't get this to work with the brush I've done the best that I can but yeah Fab. I couldn't find a brow pencil, so I'm just gonna fill my brows in and I'll come back to you. Okay, let's try the mascara. This is their Plump Up The Volume Mascara. Pretty sure I could get more volume out of a mascara if I just put it on a toothbrush and combed it through my lashes. This is so not volumizing. I'm gonna give it a good few coats though say that I tried. One of my biggest pet peeves when it comes to makeup is when a brand markets something like a mascara is volumizing and it's just not. That really really bugs me. I'm like why can't you just call it a lengthening mascara because that's clearly what it is. This is actually okay as a lengthening mascara but it says it's volumizing and it just does not do that. Can you see how terrible? Also my eyes are starting to sting so I don't know what is doing that. Finally, before I go and scrub this off my face, I've got a lipstick in the shade 09 Fuchsia Pink. Why not spice it up? Okay. It's not very pigmented but I do like the colour. Okay, so this is quite sheer. It's definitely not a really pigmented lipstick. But it feels okay on my lips, so this actually gets an okay from me. So this is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comments. I think you all know what I think. I will not be wearing any of these products again. I just want to take this makeup off so much. I think the foundation has just ruined everything. Like if I even touch it, it just bunches up and comes straight off. It feels horrendous. I'd say that the eyeliner's got a good formula, but my eyes are hurting and they were hurting before I put the mascara on. So I think it might be the eyeliner that did that and the brush on that wasn't good at all. To be honest, I'm just gonna give these products a massive thumbs down, like a zero out of five. <laughs> You guys know that I use drugstore products all the time. I'm not a snob. I'm not a high-end makeup user constantly. I do love drugstore products, but this is just too much for me. I just don't like anything and it feels horrible. It feels like I've gone and put paint on my face. I can just... So I'm gonna go now. I'm sorry that this video was a massive downer. Like I said, I was gonna stop halfway through and just do a different makeup brand, but I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. If I don't think something is good, I don't think it's good. Hopefully you found this informative. <laughs> Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you tomorrow for my next video. Bye.